morning, guys. Um, as I said on um, the WhatsApp group, where I'll be opening the YouTube line. So this video will be dedicated to that channel. This one is gonna be longer and don't have those uh, cut off points uh, like on WhatsApp. Uh, I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link of the group and uh, just subscribe to it because I need at least about I think a hundred subscribers so that YouTube doesn't uh, it is just a liability and take it off. So just uh, subscribe when I give you the link to the to the channel. So I'll be doing the exercises that we just covered now. I'll start from exercise one, and I'll then I'll do two, and then I'll do five. Then uh, we can reconvene in the WhatsApp group and see which one, uh, which other things you guys feel you need to do. Okay. All right. Let's just start on the first one, guys. There is uh, one important aspect when it comes to these types of exercises. You need to be able to visualize what um, they are describing in the in the details they give you. So, for instance, uh, question one speaks about an octagon building. So this octagon building has got an internal dimension of three, four, three, six per side. And external dimension of 3784 per side. And it is 3000 millimeters high from floor level plate and wall plate. Um, the wall thickness is a 220 wall. And then there's the constant. That constant is specific for the floor area of the octagon, the surface area of an octagon shape. Okay. So the first. The first uh, calculation that we, we are required to do is for area of vinyl floor covering. But before we do that, uh, I'd like to Im impress on you that let's rather first make a drawing, a full sketch of what we are expected to calculate so that you've got a mental picture. And then we should insert all of the, the sizes and the dimensions that are given so that when we go and do our calculation we don't come back to the wedding again and try and check what they want also so let's just make a sketch to show that we understand what we are being required to do okay guys so just play with me i'm going to do the sketch uh, quickly Okay, guys. Uh, so I've gone ahead and I've done the sketch, and um, I've annotated all the dimensions that are, we are told in the drawing. For instance, they say our external dimension is three seven eight four millimeters. That's from the outside part of the wall. And our internal is three four three six millimeters, guys. Okay. And an octagon is a shape that's got eight equal sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, guys. Okay. Now we are also given a constant. The constant is when we need to um, ascertain the surface area of the internal part. Okay. Let me just shade it off so that. You understand that I'm, who I'm talking about this part. So it's useful for you guys to have uh, like markers and all of that, so that you can make um, references to a point by coloring them out, so that you know exactly which part you are referring to. When we talk about vinyl floor tiles, we're talking about tiles on the floor on. We're not referring to anything on the wall, but we need a surface area of this the internal part of that. Okay. So now 
image let, let's just go to uh, the other details that we've got we are told that uh, the height of this, uh, this structure from wall plate to finished floor level is 3000 millimeters so i've drawn that in there it is okay so basically wall plate level is where your trusses would be sitting there's a, a, a plank a 38 by 114 that sits here in the internal that we call a wall plate okay you learn about that in technology don't worry about it now okay so what i've gone ahead and done i've drawn a section of the wall just so that i can uh, insert my dimensions and annotate where they start and where they end guys so they also tell us in the second question let me show you they also tell us over here that when we calculate the net area of plaster floor level to ground level is 450 so i've taken that 450 and i've drawn it in that from floor level to ground level it's 450 millimeters okay i'll explain to you um, the intrinsic value of that when we do plastering the plaster externally from our wall plate downwards to where it's exposed where your eye can see if this is your eye you can see all of this you can see all of that but you cannot see below the ground but we cannot leave our plaster only to this joint between the earth and the and the and the plaster so by rule of industry we always plaster also two courses below ground so that we've got a continuous uh, protective band that goes underneath the ground and then we backfill the earth so whenever we do uh, the plaster we will always do two courses below ground level okay guys just keep that in mind okay now the third question has told us uh, we should calculate the next uh, amount of bricks required for superstructure and for foundations now they tell us that foundation brickwork is 900 millimeters below floor level to top of footing so there it is i've drawn it 900 it starts from here because here is floor level we are on top of the floor now anything below that to top of the footing is 900 is considered foundation brickwork here is your footing okay that's your foundation right guys so now that i've got the information i've drawn it that's fine we're still gonna go to the calculation part now i need to show you uh, what uh, they need us to to subtract from uh, our resources here they tell us allow for four standard doors that are size 813 times 2032 millimeters okay that's four of them and one double door with 600 millimeter fan light and 400 millimeter side light and then they want four window size 1295 by 996 okay that information before i even go to calculations i want to draw and have a picture of that so there you are this represents a door 813 by 2032 that's standard for us and i've already gone on and done a calculation to see my surface area for the doors so i say 0 0.813 times 2.032 that gives me 1.65 square meters per door so i have four doors i'll multiply by four get 6.6 .6 square meters okay guys and then i go proceed to do for my double door now my double door varies varies in size but for this exercise we'll assume that a double door is double the size of your standard door so it's going to be 813 plus 813 that is double door and they tell us it's got a side light of 400 millimeters 
Now a side light is almost like a window on the longitudinal vertical side, okay, of your door. This one, this represents your side light. And this one on top, you'll see in most venues in, at, on campus in NMU, you've got this window on top of your, your doors. That we call a fan light, and that is 600 millimeters, okay. So we add 813, 813, and 400 to get the total length, which is 2026, and take the standard height of a door plus 600 to get our height for this opening. Okay, guys? So I've done that multiplication out and got to 5.33 square meters. Okay? That's only for one door. Then I went on to do for my window. So here's my, I'm assuming this is a kitchen window because this is your standard size that you put in, in the kitchen, not in your lounge really. So it's 1.295 uh, by uh, 9, it's 996. So I'll multiply it out, it's 1.295 times 0 0.996 to get 1.29 square meters. And there's four of them, so times four, I get 5.16 squares. So by the virtue of them saying here in our example, they want the net area. It basically says net refers to anything after deductions. So it becomes your net where you fall on. It's almost like your salary. You get a gross salary, then they deduct all your other um, expenses and all of your other medical aids and all that. Then you get to your net income. Okay, Net is what you take home. So they want the net number of bricks on question C, the net area of plaster on question B. Okay, so now that I've given uh, my sketches a bit of life, I need to show you um, how to get to our center line when we do for um, question B. Since we've got a wall that is, doesn't have your standard four corners of your uh, for building, it's, it's got a different shape, you need to draw a detail like this of the wall. Here it shows that here is your bigger dimension of your 220 wall, and then here is the smaller dimension. When we do brickwork, we need to use a center line. We need to use the center, the median of your brick wall. Okay. So how do we get that? We say big a dimension plus small dimension divided by two to get us to the center of our brick, which is our center line. You will learn about this in um, in Colex. Okay, guys. Just want to show you also on your formula sheets where you find this information. Okay, just bear with me. Just bear with me, guys. Okay. So, if you look over here where it says trapezium. Whenever you've got something like this, a similar shape like this, for you to get to the middle, the media, middle area, you see this is L1, this is L3. So there you are being told when you want to work out the area of this, you need to say L1 plus L3 divided by 2 times height. That gives you the area, but now we do not want the area we just want to know the middle so when you want to know the middle it's still l1 plus l3 divided by 2 it gives you the dimension here in the center that's where we derive that formula okay guys right please don't get confused but if you get confused please ask by all means okay just trying to show you that all of these are in your formula sheet as we are just trying to move to the center and get a mid a median a dimension okay that's fine guys now um let's call this one video uh, clip one for exercise one menstruation page 51 okay and then the second video i'll do it will be the actual uh, exercise the calculations for this one okay